we're gonna do stage clear and i'm starting over and as you can see we have different rounds we're going through and each round is uh subly divided into subly is probably not the word i'm looking for it's probably not even a real word into five different rounds and versus i mean uh, stage clear is a little bit different than versus uh, in the way that you don't have trash box combos don't give you stuff to throw at your enemies or whatever Basically, you're kind of trying to get to that clear line down there You have to get all the blocks underneath that while this thing is progressively going up and in Versus mode we found out that like if you're doing a chain or something like that And it gets to the very top you have a second that you can actually start doing stuff not a stage clear mode You cannot touch the top whatsoever like whatsoever at all so right now We're at like speed level 2 we start at speed level 1 so this is pretty pretty novice level stuff so i mean this is kind of easy so i'm just kind of going to the top trying to get through i'm trying to also do this as fast as possible which you don't really have a time limit to do this in but it does keep track of it and i'm kind of competitive so <laughs> just kind of want to see where i can go with this we got the first one uh, or the first level in the round in 40 seconds so that's not too bad we're at stage 1-2 and the speed level uh went up to two which is what we're gonna start at at two instead of one and don't want to make the mistake that I've made in the past where <laughs> trying to raise the blocks. Like, they give you... Oh, that's a good chain. Times five. Oh, that heart didn't count. It counted as a separate one. That was a really good chain. If we were playing against an enemy, they would be destroyed right now. Stage clear. Although, uh, versus not having a very good story at all. Like, really non-existent. This one actually has none. Like, you're basically playing to just, uh, just, I guess, play against to uh, compete against yourself. And I think this is what most speedrunners actually play because I guess there's, I don't know if there's actually routes or not or if there's any way to manipulate the RGN, but this is what they, mo mostly what they play. And that's stage 1-2. We're going to be doing a stage 1-3, and apparently the speed level is going to start at 4. Oh, no, it, it dropped down to 3. I guess we finished at 4. So this one's probably going to finish at 5, I would imagine. I keep trying to raise it as close to the top as I can. That way, I get the way I'm picturing it, even though it makes it a little bit more dangerous, I guess, it gets the levels done a little bit quicker. Because all we gotta do is get to where that stage clear line shows up, and then I gotta make my way down. I don't have to do any other work besides that. Right now, these chains and everything, I guess, aren't really necessary. Just because... I mean, I guess we'd actually probably be moving faster without it stopping. We don't really need it to stop. But I don't want to get out of the habit of doing it. We got another one. That's state. That's, uh... We got a 5 and a 4 in this level alone. And as the levels get harder, I've noticed... I don't think the RGN, or Random Number Generator, is actually that random. Uh, <laughs> I feel like as the game gets progressively harder, the speeds go up, you get more blocks, and I feel like the game kind of intentionally tries to throw you for a loop we are at 1-4 so we're almost done with this first round i'm gonna start calling these worlds I, I don't know i guess that's not the right way to either but i don't know i, I think of each one of the dashes are like like what like four and five i think of those as rounds and so it confuses me calling them not rounds That stage clear line. Okay, there's the stage clear line. Not that worried. I don't think I'll really have to start worrying about the speed until. Oh, I messed that up. I won't have to really start worrying about the speed until, like, maybe four or five worlds in, I would imagine. Well, that works. Yeah, we're basically done with this. Let's see if we can beat the first round like one through five one dash one through one wow those are words let's see if we can get that done in less than four minutes that's what i'm aiming for i don't know what i was going for there i really messed it up but we just got a nine and i'm not gonna lie five of them were on purpose the other nine just kind of came in there <laughs> I think Touch Attack has like one of the most underrated soundtracks. Like you don't hear very many people talking about it, 
But I, I really enjoy this game soundtrack. <laughs> I might be a little bit biased, you know, because of the whole, uh... Oh, I could've moved that other green over there. Because of the whole nostalgia factor, but... Alas. Something feels so fulfilling about just, like, getting all the blocks completely filled. Like, there not being a space underneath that clear line. We're done with round one. Round two, we're going to Lakitu. And he's gonna tell us some stuff. Look at me, he's Lakitu. And uh, he's gonna tell us the same thing I was telling you about earlier. When we form chains or combos, the screen's gonna pause and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Basically, don't stop doing stuff or you're gonna die. There we go. Start off with an eight. Surprisingly, even though Lakitu isn't really the most iconic character, I guess, in this game or in this series, when I think of Tetris Attack, his is one of the first, like, sound, or one of the first video game soundtracks I think about from this game. Maybe it's because he's, like, the first round you go to in, uh, versus mode. And as a kid, that's what I just remember. I just had a dumb moment for a second. Alright, so I can just basically fill this in and it should, we should be done. Or I can make it hard. Those are style points. Stage 2-2. And we're right at 5 minutes. So, we're making pretty good time, I think. I keep stopping it there instead of like one away from it because I'm so scared I'm gonna accidentally just touch it. Like I'm not kidding when I say you accidentally touch the top by like barely. They don't care. That's it. Game over. These levels, as easy as they look right now, later on, they get a... Uh, they get pretty intense. Like I, like I was saying, whenever you did the whole, uh, when we did the whole versus thing, they kind of start off kind of, eh, very uh, melodramatic, if that's what I'm looking for. And then they kind of speed up, and you're just like, oh god, I want to go back. Stage 2-3. That only took 47 seconds. I guess that's pretty good. Getting kind of like, oh yeah, we haven't gotten to that situation yet. The reason that the blocks all look all weird and the guys yelling stop, the game has kind of, <coughs> wow, I'm sorry. The game has kind of a comeback factor in this mode, I guess, where if you're like right there at the, at the top, you get extra seconds for making chains. Like, say maybe I get two or three seconds for getting a times four or whatever, one times four. Whenever you get to the top, he'll stop, you get like a full five seconds. At least I've, I, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I messed that up. There we go. Stage 2-3 complete. Moving on to stage 2-4. 2-4. Oh. That little shy guy at the top is like the cutest thing in the world. I did not just do that. I'm trying to do a no continue run, and even though technically I guess I just messed that up, I'm not gonna count that. So we're gonna see if I can get this without actually losing. Watch that come back to bite me. Like, I'm actually gonna do this without losing any at all. And, and that one accidental is gonna cost me. So yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I'm like, was really, really scared about rising the blocks because, especially on a, I'm playing on an emulator, so I'm not playing with the official Nintendo controller or like the like the old Nintendo controller where the D-pad is a lot more, or the buttons are a lot less sensitive. So like, I was really, really wary about even touching the L and R buttons. There we go. 
Moving on to stage 2-5, and we are going to start at 7.25 at the time. That's not too bad. We're doing pretty well. We're less than 10 minutes and two worlds through almost. Go ahead and drop that. Get a chain here. Oh, I messed that up. Well, hey, okay, times eight. That ain't bad. Mess that up too. All right, I don't know if I messed it up per se, but it definitely didn't go the way I wanted it to. Getting chains for days. What is that bird called? I feel like I should know that as a, someone who's played Super Mario, but I have no idea what that bird's called. I'm gonna have to look that up later. The one that's asleep down there in the bottom right. I just now noticed our speed has gone up uh, a good bit. It's not anything major, but it's at 16. All right, so we're done with round two. Or like world two, I keep wanting to call them. Oh, it is round. See, I keep getting that confused. Moving on to round three, which is, what is his, the dog's name? I can't think of his name right now. Poochie, Poochie, yeah. And his monkey friend. Why do they always tell me the same thing? I understand, chains and combos are the way this game works. I appreciate it, thank you. You got a times eight and a chain right off the bat. Uh, I'm lying. I accidentally messed up just now. It happens though. Get a times seven or six. Wow, I can't even count. So we're on stage three dash one, and we're at less than ten minutes. I don't. I guess that's a pretty good time. Get a chain. Clear line for 3-1 is like right there, so this one shouldn't take very long. I really wanted more out of that chain though. I didn't actually think the game was going to count that one. Alright, we're done with stage 3-1, moving on to three, stage 3-2, and our speed level drops down to 17. It was at 19, I just realized. I don't know what the game speed max like what the game speed maxes out at. I think there is an endless uh, mode on this game, and I mean just for fun, I probably won't make like a a playthrough of it, but I might upload a video of seeing how far I can go on the the endless just for why not. There's a clear line. That's all we gotta do is make our way down there. About to get a times three. Oh, I don't. Why did I? Well, I don't know what I just did. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, that was. Wow, I keep stumbling over my words. Stage 3-2 completed. We're at 10:22. We're just now across the 10-minute mark, so we should be done with stage our world round stage, round stage, round three, around probably about 11 minutes. I almost just messed up again and touched the top. But that should mean that this, the clear line is literally right there. It, we shouldn't have to go too far to to get that yet. I actually got, uh, I'm, I'm curious as to what the, the highest score and how the scores work on this game are. Like if each more, like the more change you do per level or the more like times two, times three, times four, the more you do if it gives you more points or whatnot. So I'm sure somebody has to hold the world record for this. And 
and we should be done uh, pretty soon with 11, ele well, 11, 11. We should be done with this stage pretty soon. Yeah, I just gotta drop everything down. There we go. Moving on to stage 3-4. Yeah! Let's try finishing this round, I think. Under 13, I think we can do it. I think I can do it. Yeah, I realized I messed up right there, in case you couldn't tell. I'm using one of those rock candy, like, controllers, you know, USB controllers that you buy from Walmart or whatever. It's nothing, like, special. But the buttons are a lot more sensitive than a D-pad and, you know, L and R. That was a pretty good chain. D-pad and L and R on, like, a Walmart. I mean, a Walmart. On a, a Nintendo controller. Like, a lot more sensitive. And there's the clear line, so shouldn't take up a second. Basically, I can start dropping things down, do combos, and then be done. That should be it. So that one took a little bit longer than I thought that I thought it was going to. So stage three five. I think I still think we can make it under three minutes. I mean, three minutes, thirteen minutes. But we have started at level speed, speed level 20, and they started us right at the top. But uh, we are clearing that pretty well right now. Got a times three. So the clear line should be like one or two more down, I think. Maybe not, maybe a little bit further than that. Oh, we didn't actually get it in 13 minutes. I'm a little bit upset with myself. I thought I could do that. But we definitely have it in 14, like for sure. There's the clear line. Really, I just need to start lowering these sides down, and we should be done with this uh, entire round. And that should be it. So, we are done with round three with Poochie, and I cannot remember the monkey's name for the life of me. So now, we're going to move on to Froggy. Just kidding. I thought we were going to move on to Froggy. We are being interrupted by a special stage. And he's Bowser, King of the Koopas, of course. And do I think I can defeat you? Probably. Did you know this simple one? He called me a simple one. I don't even understand that insult. But the speed level is at 45. Holy sh stuff. And we have new blocks. Okay, this is going fast. Alright. And so instead of, uh, I mean, it does stop the clock, but instead of, like, throwing trash, we are definitely... Okay, we gotta get that down from the top. We're, uh, definitely attacking his health bar over there with each chain and combo. So that's what we're aiming for. Like I said, so we just gotta keep these chains going, and then, uh, I think we'll be okay. Each one of these things is not doing as much as I'd like it. I wish that, uh, each one of these chains and combos was doing a little bit more to his health, because it's gonna take a little bit. Uh, I keep freezing for a second. Oh, I just made a mistake. Uh-oh. 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 I gotta get a chain or a combo somehow. Like, pretty soon. There we go. Okay, that was close. Uh, find something. Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. I messed those stars up. Dang it. There we go. Okay, so we're at, we had him at less, less than half health. Okay, send him more at his way. Alright, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. What is our speed level at? We're at 49 right now. Okay, that times 5 should do a lot of damage. Alright. I'm gonna wait for this to get to the top so I get that whole stop. Oh, I missed it. The whole stop thing. Like I said, it, it pauses for a little bit longer. Okay, wait. This should be it. That should be it. Boom. 
And right at 14.59, so we're at less than 15 minutes. And we just beat the stage clear. Or the stage clear. We just stage cleared this. I think this is a good part to end this video at, guys. So, come back and we'll probably finish the rest of the levels all in the next episode. So, thanks guys for watching and come watch episode 2.